Cabrini Day is an annual event that Cabrini University celebrates. This year's theme was Food Matters. Students who participated in the event had their boards set up and ready to present. Here's what some of them had to say. My poster is about food and culture. I, so like I find it interesting to see like other cultures like Chinese culture, Indian culture. However, I decide to focus mine on South American cuisine and I found it important to me because I am from Guyana, so like I like eat the Guyanese food. So I want to reach out or at least go to like experience other cuisines because I know like quite a few people are more like in their comfort zones to like stick with the food that they know. However, I think it would be nice for people to branch out. So what is food culture in America? Now they're gonna give you the most broadband dictionary um, definition of the arts and other manifestations. You don't need to know any of that. Food culture is really the idea that people can show their heritage and their tradition of where they're from through the food that they produce. So I have, how do we maintain the food culture that we are? Where is food culture prominent? How we can learn about other food culture? And then some fun facts about it. My poster is about an organization downtown in Philly, and it's called Casa del Carmen. Casa del Carmen is an organization that helps deal with food insecurity. And they offer two types of pantries, a regular pantry and a green light pantry. The regular pantry deals with giving out universal food that anyone, no matter what your race is, you can eat. So things like cereal, milk, muffins. Um, and the Green Line Pantry is more of a healthier option. And it has, uh, it gives out canned goods, brown rice, red meats, and stuff like that. And they teach them how to cook the vegetables and how to eat more healthy. As what the, the type of people that they help, they have high blood pressure or high cholesterol, so they're trying to make them eat more healthier. Food insecurity is still a thing, and unfortunately, you gotta learn to be aware of it. And I think a lot of people nowadays, because we live in a country where we get food from anywhere, there is still people that suffer food from food insecurity, and I want them to know that we should help them out, and even if we can't do anything about it, bring awareness to it. Reporting from Low Quarter Media, this is Troy and Victoria.